Oh man, so many things to ask. I don't know what to say. What should I say, guys? I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. My friend? You mean Alistair? The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Thank you for helping me, Morrigan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. I happen to be nobility, you know. I stand corrected. How did she manage to rescue us, exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why? What's happening? <laughs> Are you sure you want me to describe it? I would normally skip this, but just for you guys. Yes, please. I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and Darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. So, those servers could be rescued? If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. Why did Terran Logan abandon the King? I do not know who this Logan even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Till <coughs> time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. All right. Test. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, what else is there? I'm not. Well, actually, yes, I am gonna need that. Um, I don't really need. I don't. I never use these bombs and cells. I probably. I didn't think I would be able to do that. Okay. Okay, well then I guess maybe I'll come back to that. There is a time when you have to come back here to the wilds, but I'm not going to spoil that. It's just maybe that's the time when I'm going to be able to get into that chest. <clears throat> so, I don't even know when I started recording. I think it was like 6 o'clock and it's 6.40. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Mm. I'm 
fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Of course not. But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is this Archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Will you help us fight this blight, Flemeth? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and Darkspawn. Well... Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the Dark Spawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Arl Eamon, the Arl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Keep in mind that Loghain was also an honorable man. The Isle would never do what Tan Loghain did. I know him too well. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Surely there are other allies we could call upon? Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey, War Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Yes, thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none. The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? 
You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. 